G'day everybody, what's cracking? It's Ralph Mahey here, and today we're going head to head Ulanzi Claw versus Ulanzi Fulcrum System. Challengers ready! I should have been a voiceover for the wrestling people, I realize that. Do you like my new lighting setup? Well, this video is long awaited, I realize, because I've talked to video about this, that if you haven't seen, you should go and watch that now. Um, there'll be links uh, up here. And then I've talked about this in a video, where there'll be, I guess, another link up here now. And the um, these two systems um, uh, do the same thing. But obviously this is the first, this is the second generation of the claw, but developed before the Fulcrum system was developed. And today we are going to look at which one is the best for you. And we'll score them and you can see which one benefits you based on what you need and what you like. So there'll be the scoring system, which is just a little bit of fun to keep us on our toes. However, you will know by the end of this video which one you think is the best one for you. So first of all, let's look at size. Size this way, the Fulcrum system has it. Size this way, the Claw has it. Hmm, interesting. They're both sleek, they're both nice, and they both have a locking mechanism. Ease of use of unlocking system. This one operates like that. It's pretty straightforward. This one, you have to go both sides. I'm going to give it to the Fulcrum. I think the Fulcrum with the one-sided... Oh, there you go. That's how effective it is. Let's talk about ease of putting into its uh, space. Now, this one, you have to work out which way round to put it. And if you get it wrong, it's annoying. How am I getting that wrong? Oh, there you go. So that's what that looks like. This one, the claw, like any way you like. It doesn't matter. You don't have to be precious about it. It's really, really clever. Well done. I think you could have actually done the same with this because it doesn't need to be um, anything different on the plate because of the two stops that are here so points go to the claw system for that all right mountability onto a tripod here you have six different options on the claw six look at that six uh, this you got one but you've also got a three eighths as well as a quarter inch um i'm I'll give them both a point. It depends on your needs, right? Maybe you need this to be a, a fat one as well as a skinny one, and this one you're like, no, I just need to some for some reason position it. Seven, six different options. No, all right, we'll, we'll go. We'll go the Falcom. I think that's just they've obviously thought it through and developed it. All right, grippability to the camera. There's a nice. Um, rubber grip here that enables the camera to stick. I've had no problems at all sticking with them, so um, I'll uh, give them both a point for that. The claw has this nice little handle that enables you to tighten it if you don't have a, um, a coin or a tool to tighten it, whereas this doesn't. They both don't have a hex thing, so they're not getting a point for that, but I think the little handle here gives it a point. However, you must remember to push that down, otherwise it stuffs up the mounting mechanism on top. They both got the same height, uh, quarter inch that comes out of it, so they'll both stick into the camera as much as you need. However, this is sleeker. It's nicer, isn't it? It's like very pretty and this is like it's it's nearly a third uh, more so we're going to give you a point for that uh falcom in terms of how pretty it looks on the bottom of your camera um this one the falcom is definitely prettier it's sleeker it looks like it's part of the camera this looks like a bit of an attachment to the camera so points to the falcom for that let's talk about shoulder straps shoulder straps ease of mount ability goes to that's right, the claw, head and shoulders. I found this very easy to mount and straightforward. This was quite a challenge. Same bag, same user. Um, I don't know if that's a thing or I'm just, maybe I was tired and hadn't had a coffee yet, but I, I struggled to mount this. This was much easier to mount, even though these little star things, they're, they're kind of handier to be able to um, uh, get your fingers around rather than this. Um, but having said that, these little points, they dig in. I don't like a dig in, so you don't get points for that. You, you get a point for that, another point. Also, this is ingenious. This I love. I love these little things about um, accessories where you're just like, ooh, 
Ooh, I haven't seen that before. There's a built-in coin that's magnetized in, so it never... Does it really come out? Oh, it does come out. But you're, you're honestly never going to do that, are you? Anyway, it doesn't come out when you're just bobbing around. Um, and that coin, if you can ever find your coin again after throwing it across your studio, can actually be used to tighten uh, the back of here. Really super handy. And also for any other tripod mount. So if you've got this on your, um, your backpack, you always have a key to tripod mounts available, which is really, really handy. Now, let's talk about size. And you can see the size difference. The Fulcrum is much smaller, sleek, and compact, which is clearly what they were going for. And when they started off with this, it's likely that this was developed based on other um, uh, users and, and whatnot out there. So um, that's why it's, it's quite big. They tried to trim it down with this. I think it needs to be trimmed down even more. So this is smaller, therefore gets the points. This is a bit more comfortable and easier to put on. It gets the points. And then you've got the locking mechanism. Now the locking mechanism on here is you pull this out and you turn it and it's locked. So you pull it and then you push to eject that. This you need two hands, two fingers to equally pull it out. So much easier to get out of the fulcrum. The other challenge is when it comes to putting it in, the camera with the base plate on slides really easily into um, here. It just locks down, no problem. One of the challenges I found with this is if you don't have it exactly flush, it cannot sit well and you have to wait for that double click. Whereas you know that when that's in, it's locked in and it's not moving. So there's a potential for here for you not to be fully locked in. And also the locking mechanism. When you're tucked in here and you're fiddling around with this and you've got to fiddle around with the, your camera, the, the fulcrum is much easier to pull your camera out of. Price-wise, the claw comes in ahead of the Falcon. The Falcon system is more expensive and requires more um, uh, cash to buy it. Wow, profound. <laughs> Whereas this doesn't. So this gets the points. But it, it also comes across as you understand why it isn't as expensive uh, when you use it. It's not a cheap product by any stretch, but they've obviously put more develop and research into this. And I hope there's a third edition. So if this is Gen 2 of the first edition, this is Gen 2 of the second edition, I hope there's a third edition, a third series that takes the learnings from these two and make something really sleek in terms of a line with your camera strap, easy to attach to your camera strap, doesn't dig in, easy unlocking mechanism, and enables this to be on all four different um, uh, axes so that it doesn't matter where you put it on your camera. So there you go, they got these two epic little products. Which one is best for you? The scores are just here, the final scores, but really they're incidental, and I realize some of you are freaking out and frothing out of your minds because, oh, it's so biased. Yep. Yep. Every review is biased. Move past the scores. It's okay. <laughs> Which one's best suits your needs? There's links in the description for both and you can check them out and see which configurations might best suit you and your needs and your price point and budget. Hopefully this uh, video has explored all the ins and outs. And if you have other questions, please put them in the comments below. I will be delighted to meet with you and chat with you there. And otherwise, please subscribe, give this video a like, share it to anyone you know who is I'm an Anarin, which quick release system to go with. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. There's links in the description for bow, bow, blah, blah, blah. And you can just add up the scores. Oops, keep the camera.